We're in Jasper Active, Word 2019, Lesson 2. I'm going to do Finding and Replacing Text. So if this is the first time you've done it, click on Learn. Otherwise, you'll click the Practice button. All right, our first step, oh, you notice that my clipboard is open. I don't actually need that right now, so I'm going to close that out. That was from my previous lesson. Anytime you see something over here that doesn't necessarily seem like you need it, you can close it out. All right, step one. Uh, or for you, learning to use find and replace, we're going to um, find and replace specific items in two different documents and work with an autocorrect feature. So step one, we're going to open and save a document as. So open the invitation to annual meeting document, right? I'm going to go down here, use my little shortcut, double click it, and open that up. And then it says to save it as invitation to annual meeting 2016. So sometimes when you're working in Jasper Active, you really need to make sure you read the entire step because sometimes there are two things in there that you need to do. So I'm going to go to file and save as and click browse to find my Jasper Active folder. And then I'm going to go into my projects. We always want to save into my projects. And my file name currently is invitation to annual meeting. I need to add 2016 to the end of that. And then I can click save. And now it's updated my title up here at the top. We're going to select the text that says insert date and type in the current date. So I just click and drag right over it. I can start typing. It's January. You're going to see that you get this little pop-up that gives you maybe a shortcut. It says press enter to insert. I can do that. If I hit space, it's going to give me the entire date for today. I can hit enter to insert that current date. Mark it as answered and go to the next step. We're going to use a keyboard shortcut um, to display the navigation pane. So our keyboard shortcut is control F. Now remember when you're in your instruction panel, you need to make sure that you click back into Word before doing a keyboard shortcut, otherwise it's not going to work. So I'm going to press and hold control, tap the letter F, and there's my navigation pane that shows up. That's all I need to do for that step, so I'll mark as answered and go to step three. I'm going to type in 2012 into the search field and then view the results list that I get. And this will help me see how many um, occurrences there are in the document. So here it tells me there are only two results. And you'll notice that it highlights it over here for me. I'm going to mark that step as answered and go to step four. We're going to click into the document, press and hold control, and tap the letter H. So this is going to give us the find and replace function. So this allows me to find something and replace it with something else. But that's all I need to do for that step. I'm going to click Mark as answered and go to step five. So we're going to ensure that our find what field, so find what's here, this is the field. It says 2012, that's what we want. In the replace with field, delete any characters there and type 2016, then click replace all. So replace with field, I don't have any characters here. So I'm going to type in 2016 and then click replace all. And it says we've made two replacements. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then close the find and replace dialog box and the navigation pane. So I can hit the close button right here. I can hit the close button right here. And we want to make sure this is saved, so I'm just going to click on the save icon on my quick access toolbar and mark as answered. For step six, we're going to open another document. This is the TEC employee list file. And then we're going to save it as the TEC employee list revised file into our projects folder. So I'm double clicking it from down here to open it up. 
correct document, TEC and playlist. I'm going to go file, save as, and find my Jasper active folder. Now, I was recently in my resource files folder here, so that's what's opening. I can click this up arrow to go back to the previous folder and then go into my project folder instead. Now it wants me to save it as TEC and playlist revised. So I just have to click at the end of my title and type in the word revised, paying attention to capitalization and spelling. And then I'm gonna click the save button. It's updated my title. I'm going to mark step six as answered and go to step seven. Click the home tab and in the paragraph group, click the show hide formatting marks command to show our formatting marks. So home tab, paragraph group, there's my formatting marks icon. When I click on it, you're going to see that it stays highlighted. That means it's active. And then down here, in my document, there are all of my formatting marks. So we're going to scroll through the document and notice how the paragraph marks show us where the enter key was pressed. So there is a lot of them. And you're going to notice that here, where I have an entry right here, there's the enter key was hit here, and then it was also hit here, and then more text was added. I'm going to mark that step as answered and go to step Eight. We're going to press Control H to display our find and replace dialog box again. So remember, I need to click into Word, press and hold Control, and tap the letter H. Scooch this over. Now you're going to see it is currently showing what I did the last time, so 2016 and or 2012 and 2016, and we're going to do something a little different. So. We need to click into the find what field and delete the characters that are there. And then we're going to go down here to the more button. At the very bottom, we're going to click on the special button. And then we want to click the paragraph mark. Now you're going to see this says paragraph character. Paragraph mark is at the very top. I'm going to click on that. And what this is telling um, the document or the computer to do is find anywhere that that paragraph mark is. So anywhere that we've hit enter, it'll find those paragraph marks. Now in the replace with field, I'm going to take out the characters there. And I'm actually, I'm going to go back down to special. I'm going to put the paragraph mark in once. And then I'm going to do it again. So I'm clicking on special and clicking paragraph mark a second time. So here I am finding wherever it has put the uh, paragraph mark and I'm replacing it with twice. No, I totally did that incorrect. So let's fix that real quick. I can just delete this out. Up at the top, I want to find wherever it's been hit twice. So special paragraph mark. There we go. I was just backwards on that. So find what? I'm finding where the paragraph mark is. Paragraph mark is twice in a row. Replacing it with the paragraph mark just once. See, that's what happened when I didn't read my instructions. Okay. We're going to click replace all. And then click OK to close the dialog box. I click Replace All. It tells me I made 36 replacements. I'm going to click OK. And then I can close out of this. And so you're going to notice how quickly Word removed all instances where there were two paragraph marks in a row, right? So remember, we looked up here and we saw those two. There was like more of a space in between these. All right, so you still need to review the document and determine where any page breaks should occur or if changes are needed in the formatting, but it's very cool to be able to change uh, not just to find and replace text, but find and replace formatting as well. I'm going to mark that as answered and go to the next step. Now we're going to try and find a piece of text and replace it with formatted text. So we're going to click in the find what field 
delete the text there and type Sid Taylor. So I need to open that up. Control H. In the find what field, I'm taking out those two paragraph mark symbols and I am typing Sid Taylor, paying attention to my spelling and capitalization. And then I'm gonna click in the replace with field and type Sid Taylor again. Now I could click replace right now and it would replace Sid Taylor with Sid Taylor, but that's not gonna do us any good. We need to change our formatting. And I wanna, I scooch this over to the side so you can see right here, this is where the instance where it says Sid Taylor is. Um, in our replace with field, so while that's still active, we're gonna go down to the format button and we're gonna click on font. And then in our font style list, that's right here, we're gonna select bold. And then in the size list, we're gonna select 12. And then we're gonna select okay. Now what you're gonna notice up here at the top where it says find what, it just has our words. But down below, it has our words and then it shows the formatting right here. We're gonna click replace just one time. And then we're gonna re click replace once more. And it's finished searching our whole document. And we're gonna click okay. And I can close out of this. But now you can see how it has replaced the plain Sid Taylor text with now um, Sid, the Sid Taylor words that are bold and 12 point font. We're gonna save this document and close it. We are done with this exercise. So mark as answered and submit. There we go, return to Jasper Active.